Chapter 39 Esper In his white suit, holding a new black cap in one hand and Milo's hand in the other, Esper stared down into the village and the old storm drain from Mason's old office. The orphanage staff still watched over the children. Good, kind people. Police had raided the compound, leaving sections of it in tatters. A power vacuum had also formed in the wake, with existing factions in Mason's organization holding a tenuous truce for now. Esper did not know how long he might last. Inside the compound, he was still an outsider whose plan led to the death of their anchor and hero. Outside, he would likely get arrested soon for participating in the attack. The law enforcement was usually on the side of the penthouse's families, so he wasn't counting on getting lucky. This wasn't supposed to happen. The plan was simple. Force the Immers to confess their manipulative practices in front of the entire city. He didn't expect the violence. Esper believed that if the truth came out, that the city would decide the fate of the Emmers. Mason agreed. Chaos, unfortunately, erupted when Mother Mech sent her missile into the henchmen. Like the random numbers they pursued, it was difficult to predict. Had Mason been truthful about his intentions? The longer-term plan to get rid of Mason from within also came to an abrupt end, as Esper chose instead to let Mother Mech do it for him. In the heat of the moment, the tipping point was Flora's appearance. He would not let her get hurt in his failure. It all just made Esper feel stupid. How could he not see the ensuing violence? He had spent so much of his life embroiled in complexity and systems, trying to patiently find the weak spots, only to screw up spectacularly. People were dead. More could die, all because he wanted to take away control. Now it wasn't even clear whether that would happen. The Emmers have launched a full-scale disinformation campaign, and winning that fight might never come to fruition. Even during these volatile times, they had been scalping profit from the public car markets. Despicable. The answer to his impatience was in front of him. A destroyed family. Only now, in the aftermath of ashes, did he notice the weak spot in himself that had been there all along. He needed acceptance, not control. What's going to happen now? Milo asked. The orphanage would not last long without help, and Palma was without his mother. He didn't know how to fix the latter, if it even could. However, for now, he could at least do something about his new brothers and sisters. A new beginning, a new compound, and Esper would be its steward. He had no choice. Esper put his new black cap on and hunched next to Milo while staring down into the orphanage. We're going to take care of our family. I'll need some help. Are you up for it? 